the genie stuff at the last game of last season. Mm. Like we all kind of knew he was going, but then Liverpool made it properly yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that he was going. Now the fact that there's a Champions League game, like, do you think Divock's going to get any of this stuff? Because it looks like, and yeah. is it James Milner's in this boat Milner, as well. Yeah. Like, we, we, I mean, we might find a lot out on Sunday in terms of who's going to be. Yeah, you're right. I think he'd be asked about it tomorrow. Well, I know he'll be asked about it you're because if he, does, <laughs> if he is the time going, to, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they are they are two legends of Liverpool. You know, for different. Different ways and different reasons, and they are out of contract as it stands. So I think Divock's going to Milan, isn't he? By Divock's all going to, yeah. I think we, we've known that for a while. Milner's an interesting one, you know. I th- I personally think Milner the last three games has been outstanding. He was my man of the match. Today, Newcastle, like brilliant. The final, I thought he was fantastic when he come on. You know, not just rattling Reese James inside twenty seconds, but just real sort of quality yeah. um, and I thought Southampton you think about it you know to play the first half the way he did con- control in midfield and then play the second half the way he did right back I thought it was just you know Brilliant. it was just so Milner wasn't it you know everything he'd done so he's, he's sort of knocking on the door at exactly the right time of season isn't he if he wants, wants to sort of convince people of his merits for another year um, but yeah I think, it, I think it will be interesting they both deserve you know they all deserve it they'll all get it on, on, on Sunday regardless of what happens in the in the games but I think they do deserve a little bit Chamberlain might be in this boat as well perhaps Salah, man Keita you know that the year left on their deals for me you know you know there's there's a lot of sort of yeah, goodbye to all everyone's yeah, getting off like I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's left but um, yeah there's a I, think, I mean Divox guaranteed you know we're doing something spoiler I, alert you're talking about it later we, yeah. We, yeah it looks like it, yeah, he deserves yeah, it yeah. He, do, he does deserve it I mean you know f- as a proportion of sort of what he's done for the club the proportion of things that he's done a massive is huge you know probably as big as anyone that's ever played for the club you know I, I would imagine um so yeah I, i'm sure i think liverpool's ideal world would be that the you know the three nil up and the title's on its way and villa are two nil up at city and you can bring divock on for the last 20 minutes and you can hear the cops sing that that song or those songs for him um i think he'd quite like to have milner on the pitch at the end as well if he's not starting could play right back you know the way the way uh Obviously, the the whole thing's panned out. With, yeah, if yeah. Gomez is injured, then you you don't really want to risk trend. Maybe there might be a bit of that. Um, so yeah, um, it'll be. I think it will be an emotional day. I think I think there'll be some sniffy comments from people because the chances are City are going to win the league and Liverpool are going to come up short, and there'll be a celebration atmosphere. And I think some people oh, celebrating finishing second, but actually, I think you couldn't argue with what they're going to get on Sunday. They they deserve everything. You know, you look at. You look at what they've done. As I think Carragher said it, didn't he? Is it sixty-one games, three defeats. It's absurd. It's isn't just it? absurd, isn't it? You know, and one of them didn't matter. You know, one of those defeats was was, was a win anyway, in, in the sense of going through the tie. So, yeah, you know, let's applaud and let's sing and let's let's you know pay tribute to all of the heroes. Never mind just those two. Absolutely. And speaking of that, then on that theme, it's the the news that's come out today, which I'm so glad about. We we done the build up to Southampton, and, uh, sorry, to the Wolves game. We were like, you know. Did they have to win this to get a parade? What's happening with the parade stuff? So it's, it's been clear now, regardless of what happens yeah. in fact, like, there will be a parade. So to parade the League Cup, the FA Cup, and obviously the women's team are involved yeah, in yeah, winning yeah. their title. Um, that's great. I think it's brilliant. Like yeah. I, I remember oh six, we just played at the FA Cup. So this this idea for me that they weren't gonna do it if they didn't win the league or yeah, the Champions yeah, League. Yeah. It's like, hey, how stuck up your own ass are you? Like, yeah, yeah, they're the only times you can get a parade. I understand not playing the League Cup in February, I get that, but like just winning the FA Cup used to be a big deal. So mm. I'm so happy that they're gonna hey that they're gonna get the chance to parade. And hopefully, like I say, hopefully it's with four trophies, hope if not that three, but yeah. they deserve this as well. It's the same thing you're saying. Other people might stick their noses apart it, but we shouldn't really. We should be celebrating. Yeah, I, I, the only the only thing I would say is I'd be interested on from a player's perspective if they lost. If they lose, you know, let's hopefully not. But let's say they lose. I think I think they, they will probably lose the Premier League. You know, yeah. it's it's a fair assumption. Stranger things have happened, but I think they will. If you lose the Champions League and then it's like right, come on lads, on the bus and let's let's have a thing. I I don't know whether it, I would be. Oh, I don't want to or it would lift me in the sense of wow you know like look at this we lost and look what they're doing for us you know I think I think it's probably veer towards the latter that it might be just an absolute amazing lift for those players that you know we still love you you know even though you've you, you've not not quite got that the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow if you want to call it that um, but you're right yeah <laughs> like I've, I've been to I've been to parades after after winning one trophy you know I've, I've I can remember you know 2001 being an incredible sort of one-off it felt like well this is this is you know another one-off isn't it you know it, 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 probably on an even greater scale if they can get it done so I think it's it's something to look forward to I know there'll be people over in Paris who will be thinking 
you know the the usual sort of um you go over there, you spend all your money, and then you miss the the sort of the great celebration back home. Blame but England and blame the national team for that because yeah, they're, they're, they're on Nations, they're on Nations League, Nations League three League, days uh, later. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what happened with the the last few as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 awesome. I missed I missed the one after Madrid. I got in just as that was finishing almost. I think I've missed this Istanbul one. You know that was, but it, it sort of feels a little bit like well, you get. You know, you miss the glory of that, but you get the glory of being in Paris and being in the stadium. You know, so you know, you can't be too greedy, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I, I was sort of, when it, when it, I knew it was getting being announced. You like, really, you know, do you want to sort of send them out there and sort of make them make them relive it if they've lost the night before? But I think probably, like I've just said there about Anfield on Sunday, I think they do probably deserve that credit and that that ovation because the chances are. You'll never be in that position again. You know, there's there's a, a fair chance that we'll never ever see a, a Liverpool side in with a, a shout of four trophies in what 19th of May. You know, yeah. As I remember 06 vividly, I I, I, I we on Queen's Drive stood there to play the FA Cup. So mm-hmm. there's no harm in playing the FA yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah. It just so happens that we're, we might also have a couple of other yeah, ones to go and as well. And you think back as well, and the women's team to save some yeah, them as well. Absolutely, and a few of the women's team missed the the Anfield. Um, Experience, you know, if you were on holiday, the captain was was away. Um, Missy Bow was away. Who's who's like the the ultimate sort of scout? So she, I, I can't believe she wasn't there for that Anfield occasion. So it'd be great for them to experience that. And also, you've still got that hangover a little bit of the uh, the Premier League win and, and that that was. Did you come and get that trophy out? <laughs> <laughs> like, that'd be a bit weird. Wouldn't it? Well, like, we might have it. Might have the real thing. The <laughs> could well, have, they won't. You'll have the fake one. Apparently, the real ones at City, isn't it? So yeah, well, could, yeah, could have it. Could have everything going for them, but um. Yeah, I think I think they do deserve it, and you know, whatever happens, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an incredible colour and noise and event. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, again, worst case is it's a nice. Where are you gonna go? Where's your event? What, where, are you, where are you gonna catch? I you? usually get it by the Jolly Miller on Queen's Park yeah, because yeah, I go yeah. with my son, so I drive and park. Yeah. And then last time I took him home. And then made my way into town myself yeah, so I have yeah, a drink. Yeah. So my lads don't. Well, now he's seven. Back then, he, I think he was five. So we, he, I, I had to fold out chair for him because he was tired. So I took him, <laughs> and then I took him home to his mum, and I got, a, I, I made my way into yeah. town myself. One, drink, of my, so. one of my, my sisters got a, a thing. One of her photos on the wall is there, just hanging onto the, the the gates outside the cop at Anfield with a, with a camcorder. This is two thousand five, and yeah, don't remember. go past Anfield no more, do these? Yeah, that, it was chaos. Yeah, I was. she was stood. I mean, she was stood on this like hanging onto the gate on this like sort of wall for about. Probably about two hours, you know, waiting for them to come, and yeah, I think she's still very, uh, very proud of them. Nice those, those footage in that picture, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, 05 was that slow, was that mad? I was at Anfield and I walked to town from Anfield and was there before that bus because it was absolute chaos. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I don't think they go, past, they don't go past Anfield now for that reason. I think it was yeah. too much calm. Famous, uh, famous story, isn't it? Is you were Phil Thompson today. He tells a famous story about um, missing the bus, missing the bus, <laughs> and, and then going in for, uh, going in for. Someone's toilet, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> a queue of uh, Liverpool players on the stairs of this this house. I think they might have a toilet on this bus these days. Fingers, going fingers, forward. fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. It's a bit of a posh bus. Yeah, I, 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 I was I wasn't aware. I'll be honest. Of the the, the 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 women's team are getting on it as well mm. because I just said like fair play. They're getting two trophies, and then someone tweeted me saying actually yeah, the, the yeah. women's on it as well. And I think that's brilliant because again you. you the, we, where we are, we're never going to do a parade for the women's trophy, but they deserve it as well. Like, yeah, especially, yeah. With, and it's nice that Liverpool are putting more emphasis on the women's team because for a while, you know, they were criticised for not paying yeah, it yeah, any definitely. respect, really. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And obviously, you know, they, they're moving back into the big time now, so there will be more more attention on them. They'll be on Sky and there'll be, you know, the games will be there to, to be watched. And as I say, the focus will turn up. Hopefully, the attendances will, will, will see them stay high and, and, and start to rise. Yeah, I, I haven't watched. I haven't watched back the documentary of this season. I, I plan to. I'm hoping to see Andy Kelly a few times mm-hmm. in, in the documentary. But it is good that they've had their celebration or their 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 success deserves to be celebrated. And you know, just a shame we can't have the uh, the Lancashire Lancashire Senior Cup for the 23s as well. They got they got that in the bag, didn't they? As well, while we were over in Villarreal, so they might all be in Paris. Yeah, so they, but, <laughs> you know, from from a perspective of. We talk about some of the fringe players there. You know, some of them didn't get medals at Wembley. I think I think they got forty medals between the the, the players and the staff. Yeah, you're gonna ask for more, doesn't he? Yeah, you <laughs> want some more. But that that's a medal, isn't it? You know, like for, for Minamino and people like that. It, even if it's just just the League Cup and the FA Cup, for them to 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 see the sort of the fruits of their labour, I think would be would be nice as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. Fingers crossed at all. Again, and fingers crossed it's four trophies. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Absolutely. At least five. three. Five. Oh, yeah, with, the with the women. With the women. Yeah, four well, for yeah. the fellas, yeah. One, yeah, for, yeah. one for the women's team, of course. Yeah, fingers crossed we get there anyway. Hey, guys, that was a clip from this week's Jano Insight with Neil Jones. If you want to check out the whole show, head on over to redmenplus.com. Sign up as a club legend or a club captain. You can get the whole show in video or podcast form. We talk about transfers, including Fabio Vieira and Joe Bellingham. Not Joe Bellingham, Joe Bellingham. Plus much, much more. So yeah, check out Jano Insight with Neil Jones on Redmen Plus.